everybody out there. I'm going to finish up talking about talk radio, and then I'm going to come back and get into all the news. I think of the number out to take your calls. But nobody out there in talk radio wants to go up against Rush Limbaugh. I didn't want to go up against Rush Limbaugh. I wasn't even thinking about Rush Limbaugh 14 years ago when Ted Anderson said, you're doing this nighttime show on my little radio network, but wouldn't you like to do a daytime show 11 to 2? And I said, isn't that Rush Limbaugh's slot? And he said, yeah, but there's some smaller stations out there that, you know, that can't get him on their station. So why don't you fill that slot? And I said, okay, I'll do it. And so for a couple of years, I did the nighttime show and the daytime show six hours a day. But the daytime show did grow to be a lot bigger. So here we are uh, many years later. So I never looked to challenge Rush Limbaugh. I never thought magically that if I was in Rush Limbaugh's slot, I would beat him when I had a chance to be put on the field with him. And I don't have a hatred for Rush Limbaugh. I think Rush Limbaugh was a gateway. I remember being in high school and college and listening to him and uh, agreeing uh, in the principles of liberty and freedom and the Second Amendment and national sovereignty. But I grew out of Limbaugh very, very quickly. I learned that environmentalists aren't wackos. They're hardcore banker run consolidators to sell everyone on guilt so that we'll give up our liberty, our freedom, our private property. I learned that big mega corporations were behind the environmental movement to, to control government and then have government shut down their competition so only they could operate. They were monopoly men. And so uh, I'm not up here going, woo. -hoo. You know, anywhere they put me up against Limbaugh, I absolutely, completely dominate him. And Ted, by the way, has now gotten those numbers. They're going to put a press release out on it soon. And it's not the first time this has happened. Anytime I'm put in the same market with Rush Limbaugh, I will take stations that aren't even showing up in the ratings, and I will take the show to number one. It normally takes six months to a year. I've done it in a major market in two stinking months. And you know why? You know why? Because they've put in the instant people meters that actually show who's being listened to. And it's a lot harder to game those. And here's my problem with Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh talks all day about the free market. But he doesn't talk about how the mega Federal Reserve that he supports and defends over the years is a giant monopoly over the issuance of currency and credit. He doesn't talk about how he works for a group that tries to set up radio monopolies to actually shut out competition. The truth is, I will absolutely defeat Rush Limbaugh any time they let me in the ring with him, okay? He can wear brass knuckles, I'll wear gloves. I will clean the floor with him. You can tie one of my arms behind my back, literally, and give him a baseball bat. I will destroy him. Now, I don't want to destroy Rush Limbaugh. He's already done a pretty good job of that. Taking so many pills, he went deaf. That's what that Oxycontin does. That guy's a cyborg. I feel sorry for him. I want to get America back. I want my republic back. I want my Bill of Rights and Constitution back. That's what I want. I could care less at the end of the day to say, man, I'm the most hard-hitting, hardcore, truly cutting-edge radio host that's hit this country in decades. You think I like that? No, I don't like the responsibility of having to get up here and realize millions of people are listening to me. This is a mission. This is not entertainment. This is not uh, about being a big personality. This isn't about living in you know, $30 million houses or flying around on private jets. This is about defending the republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. And I remember multiple top radio executives a decade ago and seven years ago, always the same, the same speech. Alex, do you want to go on this crusade that's leading nowhere or do you want to be a star? Be a mainline Republican. Join us. You'll get a TV show. You'll have the book deals. You'll have it all. And all those execs know it. All those big networks know it. They couldn't believe that they couldn't buy me for 30 pieces of silver. What is 30 pieces of silver worth if you don't have a country or a Second Amendment? 
and if a bureaucrat can come to your house and boss you around or take your children for no reason. In fact, I didn't even have a choice. There's no choice at all. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? You know that parable? You go to somebody and say, I'll give you a million bucks to give me your eyes. No way, no way. Well, why would you take a million bucks to sell who you are, to sell your soul? Huh? See, I can't be bought, and I can't be threatened, and people know it. And I'm only an example how we're taking this country back.